Today, we're going to be talking about anorectal malformation, or ARM. But first, Children's Mercy Kansas City is here for you. It can be overwhelming when your child is diagnosed with anorectal malformation. It's not a very common condition, so you may not have heard of it before or know anyone else whose child was born with an anorectal malformation. You are not alone. We are here, and we are ready to both treat your baby's anorectal malformation now and help them continue to be healthy in the future. Anorectal malformation is when a baby's anus, the end of the digestive tract, is missing, too small, invading another structure such as the urinary tract, or a little out of place. We treat all types of anorectal malformations at the Children's Mercy Comprehensive Colorectal Center. When there is no anal opening at all, that's called an imperforate anus. And sometimes the anal opening is just too small to allow poop out. In some forms of anorectal malformation, the anal opening is not in between the sphincter muscles where it should be. In others, the intestine empties into the wrong place. In some kinds of anorectal malformation, the waste, urinary, and or reproductive systems all share one channel. And in others, called extrophies, babies may be born with some digestive and urinary organs outside of their bodies. No matter what kind of anorectal malformation your child has, it's important to understand that the cause of anorectal malformation is unknown. We don't know of any environmental factors that contribute to it. Some families have a history of anorectal malformation in previous generations, some don't. What we do know is that anorectal malformation develops early in pregnancy. Rarely, certain types of anorectal malformation can be diagnosed before birth with a sonogram. But most often, we discover anorectal malformation when the baby is born. Some types of anorectal malformation can be detected during a newborn's first physical exam. If not, and a baby hasn't pooped within the first 48 hours after birth, doctors may order tests to find out what's going on. Also, imaging tests may be requested by your doctor to check for other malformations common with anorectal malformation. Without timely treatment, anorectal malformation can cause constipation, pain, infection, and organ damage. Special surgeries and sometimes a series of surgeries are needed to treat anorectal malformation. Our specialists work together to make sure your child's digestive, urological, and reproductive systems can function correctly. If your baby is able to safely poop despite their anorectal malformation, your child may be able to go home and come back for surgery at a later date. If your baby can't poop, your doctor may recommend a surgery that reroutes poop from inside the body to an external bag. This is called a colostomy, and it keeps waste from going to the wrong place and creating infections. When your baby is around two months old, your doctor may conduct a test called a high-pressure distal colostogram to better understand your child's anatomy and plan for a reconstructive surgery. Around three months, your child may have a surgery called posterior sagittal anorectoplasty or anoplasty to create a new anal opening or move an incorrectly placed anal opening. Two to three months after posterior sagittal anorectoplasty surgery, children with a colostomy will have a surgery to close the colostomy, so poop can pass through your child's reconstructed digestive system. We will be with you the whole way, guiding you as you care for your child through this process. And we'll be here after the surgeries too. As kids grow who were born with anorectal malformation, some may have trouble with constipation or need help controlling bowel movements. That's normal. And our team stays engaged and is here to help, whether your child needs regular follow-ups or more intensive care. For more information, visit childrensmercy.org slash colorectal.